Hey guys, welcome to day two of our East Coast road trip. Today we are at Hershey Park for a full day. There is the Wooden Warrior Girl um, making an appearance again in the vlogs. Are you excited for today? I am. We had a great day here yesterday, so I'm very mm -hmm. excited to be back for a full day. Yep, yesterday, by the way, if you haven't checked that out, highly recommend uh, you do so. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Right, we we spent uh, half the day at Knoebels, half the day at Hershey. It was a great time. And today we're gonna spend another half day at Hershey. And then we have a surprise park visit for later in the day, which you will not wanna miss. Um, so stay tuned and you will see what park we end up going to. It's not necessarily like remotely around here, so I don't think you guys are gonna be expecting it, but it is on our way to our next like ba major park which is in virginia so that may have given it away you'll see though you'll see it's gonna be a fun time first though we're starting at hershey and there's so many coasters that i'm just so excited to re-ride obviously yesterday we got our the opportunity to re-ride candemonium and storm runner again which was awesome but today we are going to be experiencing rides like fahrenheit lightning racer great bear and of course also storm runner and candemonium so it's gonna be a great time unfortunately sky rush is a lawn ornament now so we're not getting on sky rush but that's okay. Uh, I think Intimidator 305 tomorrow is going to more than make up oh for that. God. So, yeah, can you believe that? No. Skylar, are you excited? I've, I've literally been anticipating, like, I love intensity and fastness. <laughs> but, yeah, I've been, like, so excited for R305 ever since I knew it existed. So, yeah. I'm excited that I'm actually having it. It's literally my number four overall right now. So, I'm excited to see if it holds up to how it used to run in 2018 when I wrote it. But, first, though, we're at Hershey Park and I enjoy this. And I'm super excited. It's gonna be a great time. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Yep. I'm excited. And then we're gonna end up at our surprise park. So stay tuned. All right, we just got off of the frog hopper. I'm kidding. We got off a of great bear. What do you guys think? It was really good. I still like Talon better. I don't. <laughs> at all. Like it. It's so much more intense than Talon. Talon looks like a family ride compared to that. I'm sorry. It's so good. The elements are all executed. It's fantastic. And the pacing is great. Just an awesome ride. Very, very intense. Very, very forceful. And we're gonna head to Storm Runner next. And I'm so excited to get back on it, even though we were just on it last night. It's such an amazing coaster. I'm, I'm so ready. In like 25 minutes, we just got done with five rides on Storm Runner, literally a marathon. And every single time, it was absolutely incredible. That ride is amazing. All the elements are perfect. It just flows so well, element by element. It's amazing. This the park launch. Is literally packed, but there's no one in line for this. It's so I don't know why. It, maybe it's a bit tucked away, and that's why. But it's so good, man. I love that thing so much. Like, if you really take an in-depth look at all the elements, they all just work so well in this layout. They all flow perfectly together. It's an awesome layout, awesome package. I think it's an incredible launch coaster, honestly. I'm so glad it's open for us this visit since it wasn't last visit. And it was, we're heading to the very back of the park, which we didn't get to check out yesterday night for preview. So we're gonna hit um, Laugh Track, Lightning Racer, and also get them the Wild Mouse credit. So it should be a fun time. Maybe Wildcat too, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, should be cool. All I can say about Laugh Track is all hail the AC. It's so nice after. It's like so breezy. Because you guys don't understand. I forgot to mention. You guys don't understand how hot it is. It is in the 90s right now. Yeah, right now it is hot. Oh my gosh, guys. It's 91 right now. It's 91 right now. It's gonna get like five degrees hotter. Yeah, I mean this is insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is terrible. Nasty out here. I'm gonna get a smoothie. Laugh Track though. What do you think? What do you think? Um, I think it has good air conditioning. Um. I mean, like, the theming is, like, really cool. It was kind of, like, a cheap way to do, like, a really cool experience. I don't know. I think yeah. it's worth the wait. It's a good way to enhance the basic layout, honestly. It's pretty cool. I actually really like Laugh Track, and I've done it every single visit I've had to Hershey Park, and I think I'll continue to do that because it's honestly just a nice breather to do every now and then. Anywho, we're heading the Lightning Racer now because apparently it's a walk-on. Uh, that thing, I guess, just doesn't get lines because it's so tucked away in the back of the park, which sounds awesome to me. I will happily take a walk-on ride right now. Laugh Track, what do you think? 
Um, I think it was very good. I, we went for the AC stage for the incredible number one coaster. Of all so time. Good. It's my number one overall. Uh, number two would have to be Coco Cruiser, but you know, it's tough competition out here. We're going to Lightning Racer. Just got done with Lightning Racer, and I think that's one of the most underrated coasters I've ridden. I don't really get the hate for it. People that think it's so boring, it's not boring. It's fun. You're dueling the other train. Also, I have to commend Hershey Park on their operations on that thing. They're running two trains per side, so four trains in total on that ride. Absolutely awesome stuff. Absolute walk-on. And yeah, we didn't wait anything to get on. It was great. Seriously awesome operations by Hershey. The ride itself was just so fun. I don't get the hate at all. It's it's literally the first half especially is great. Like I, I genuinely I'd go as far as to say it's great. Uh, definitely it definitely loses steam in the second half, but that doesn't mean the second half is bad. Um, it's it's a bit meandery, but it's fine. But the first half is so fun when you're racing the other side. I I don't get it. I just don't get it. We're riding the Ferris wheel next because we're tired. Three hours later. So it is 4 p.m. We just got off of Candemonium. We've actually done quite a lot off camera, and suddenly random it is raining i know it doesn't look like it on the video because it is very light uh it actually did pick up a little bit when we were on the ride but yeah all the outdoor rides are closed due to inclement weather apparently there's a storm brushing over the park right now but we actually got what was could uh, but we actually got what could have very well been the last train uh, of the day or just for a very long while today uh on candemonium and so that was cool um, for some odd reason, it was a walk-on, which is weird because it was 150 minutes earlier. We were not even going to bother today. Unfortunately, we had to miss out on Fahrenheit, by the way. I, was, I forgot to mention that. We were going to do Fahrenheit, but uh, basically because of something that happened, they can only run one train right now. And obviously the capacity, even with one, like multiple trains, is not the best on Fahrenheit. So yeah, one train is just terrible for that ride. So that's not going to work out for us. We're going to miss out on that, but it's okay. You know, we rode it last time. Other than that though, what have we done off camera? We've done Super Duper Looper. We got the Wild Mouse credit. We got the Trailblazer credit too. We got a couple more rewrites and some other favorites. And um, yeah, I mean, overall, it's just been an excellent day and everything's working out in our favor. So we're, head we're heading out of the park now because the rides are shut down. And actually we were going to be heading out around now anyways, because we have an extra park planned, as I mentioned before. Uh, we're going to be driving to uh, towards King's Dominion, and on the way, we're going to be stopping at a park in Maryland, actually. And it should be pretty cool. I've never been here before. None of us have been here before, matter of fact. And they have three coasters, and you'll see what it is in about two seconds. So here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, we've made it to our uh, little park at the end of our day. We, we're at Adventure Park USA here in Monrovia, Maryland. Maryland. It's in the middle of absolute nowhere. It oh, actually looks like a... Going. Yeah, I see oh some God, coasters going. Finally. There's no one here, though. It's crazy dead. Um, it's, like, it's actually, it's like actually like a, a nice fairly atmosphere. nice park. The employees are nice. Like, yeah. She was my homie. I love it's, her. It's fairly nice. So. so we're super excited. Obviously, we're out of state. So we just figured, hey, let's stop for some credits. We got our uh, card right here. And... Yeah, so got three credits to pick up today. One of them is a very rare Schwarzkopf Wildcat coaster, one of the last permanent installations anywhere in the world right now, I think. And then behind me, we have the San Perla Windstorm. I'm also hitting Credit 300 today, which I forgot to mention, but it's actually a pretty big deal. So I'm gonna be making Credit 300 Wildcat because I suppose that's the most important coaster here. Definitely the most classic. So yeah, but first we're gonna do the Windstorm, then the Kitty Coaster, which is... Oh, that's what Tumbleweed is? Yeah, the Kitty Coaster is Tumbleweed. Oh my, God, my number one. Um, Yeah, we're gonna head on this thing though. Here we go. This is sketch. <laughs> oh my God. My number one. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. My number one. Okay, I need to stop. Get ready for the crazy drop. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh my god, here it is. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, how am I sideways? What the fuck? No wonder this is closed so much. What? Why are we sideways? Why are we sideways? 
sideways the that whole ride. Like it was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we came here for just that by itself. Credit 298, right behind me, we got Wild West Express, uh, some parallel windstorm, and I'll say that that crazy drop is ridiculous in the back what row. What the fuck was that? That was very much janky, though. There were moments where the track profiling was totally screwed up and wonky, but it was it was all for the credit, it was all for the um, shits and giggles, I guess you could say, and yeah, just a super fun uh, experience. The write-ups here give a single fucking shit. Yeah. Skyler's card wouldn't scan, and he said, just fucking get on, like, I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. And then the person we met at the front desk was actually super nice. She I was, loved her. She was like, she was home. literally our best friend. We're heading to Tumbleweed next. My number one most anticipated coaster of the trip, actually. It's a kiddie coaster manufactured by Myler Manufacturing, I believe. So ENF, whatever. And yeah, it should be great. I've heard absolutely incredible things about Tumbleweed. Uh, okay, we're on Tumbleweed. My number one. <laughs> Oh my god. Bro, the positive to the laterals. I think it's so good. I love it. Oh my god. I cannot believe how intense <laughs> how tumbleweed that was. was. That was absolutely. impeccable name. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're dude. A very, we're very comfortable. They're actually, they okay, like, neon. like, jokes aside, they were actually really comfortable seats. Yeah, like, yeah. for a kitty coaster. Usually you have kitty coasters wasn't that janky. have. It, it wasn't, really no. Wasn't. Yeah, what, the um, windstorm was a lot more janky than that, actually. I, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> it's it's my new number one, but um, we're gonna head to credit 300. 300, baby, let's go! What a milestone to be hitting today. I was originally gonna make it like racer at King's Dominion, because we're gonna be at King's Dominion tomorrow, and I already have most of the big credits, so I didn't really have a good 300 to make there. And I think Wildcat's a much more appropriate 300 than anything at King's Dominion, so I'm actually really excited we made the pit stop here. This is also the coaster I'm most looking forward to here. As I mentioned, it's definitely a classic, and it's it's a pretty rare model, so I'm looking forward to it. I've never been on one of these Schwarzkopf Wildcats before, so it should be a good time. The track profiling's already screwed up. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Bro, it's an actual chain. Like Skylar, this is a genuine thing. chain. We're about to die. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Something on tight. Oh. This is so cool though. Derailing the Oh no. Well, there we have it. We just rode Wildcat. It was actually a treat to get on that. It was a really fun ride. It was really smooth. Definitely the best coaster in the park out of the three. And it's a classic, you know? Like, not like, complaining. It was, like, genuinely enjoyable, too. It yeah, was. Like, it was mm -hmm. I didn't really have to, like, brace, brace yourself? myself yeah. Yeah, for any of the album elements. Yeah. I'm very pleased that we got all three credits. I'm also very pleased with the customer service. I think everyone's just super nice. Our uh, Skylar's card was not working, which you basically scan on the things to get uh, onto the rides. And they've just, the yeah, they're just like, okay, they were just like, don't worry about it. You can fix it later. Yeah. So they're, they're, everyone's just super nice here. Ever, literally living their best lives, just chilling out. Um, it's pretty cool. So overall, a successful visit here to Adventure Park USA. Definitely an interesting location. It's in the middle of nowhere and it is always dead from what I hear. I mean, this is the middle of freaking summer and there is no one here. So it's an interesting situation. I hope they're doing well though. I hope the park is doing well. Apparently they've been expanding quite a bit over the past couple of years, which is great to hear. Uh, one of the ride ops actually told, uh, told me that, which again, like uh, the fact that we even had a conversation with one of the ride ops is pretty cool. Uh, you don't see that at, at other parks a lot of the time. So yeah, if you're like driving through Maryland, just like we were, then I would recommend, to, you know, give it a stop. It's a cute little park and I'm very pleased that we got all three credits, like I said. So overall, great day today, Hershey Park and Adventure Park. What do you guys think? Today was fun? Today was very fun. Yeah. Today was very fun. Heat was unbearable. We didn't really mention that much, but it was pretty bad. Uh, other than that though, that's the one thing. Other than that, 
pretty awesome day. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. It's a rather short one compared to some of my other vlogs and especially some of the other vlogs you'll be seeing this trip, but still a pretty action-packed one. And so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed once again. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.